Growing out of the burgeoning patient advocacy movement of the 1990s and galvanized by the march coming together to conquer cancer in September 1998, the AACR Scientist Survivor Program was designed to build enduring partnerships among leaders of the cancer scientific, survivor, and patient advocacy communities worldwide. For decades, survivorship and patient advocacy has been at the core of the ACR's mission to prevent and cure all cancers. Marge and I were talking about this after the march, and we said, how do we actually begin to make that bridge to actually develop this two-way communication between the scientists who were doing the work and the patients who were benefiting from the work? So we founded this Scientist Survivor Program. Patients are now directly engaged in the research with us. The ACR really exposed me to all the different routes you could take to being an advocate. It gave me a chance to see up close and meet researchers and we had a mentor one-on-one. -on -one. That relationship is bi-directional. I'm learning just as much from the survivor as a survivor is learning from me as a scientist. It's good to work with the scientific mentors. It broadens my perspective as an advocate. Uh, it opens my eyes to new possibilities. During the program, our survivors and advocates attend focused lectures and scientific sessions with scientists and mentors. They foster exchanges in which patients and advocates explore the biology behind treatment decisions, and scientists learn a lot about the impact of what I call the patient's journey. Everything is about relationship, so if I can bring the patient perspective and gather the research perspective, I think that's a great thing. I think that's empowerment. The program has positively changed the lives of those affected by cancer, and it has constructively impacted the work of basic translational and clinical researchers around the world. I think it's helpful for me, as I am on the ground all the time talking to the community and maybe hosting talks where I bring doctors out of the offices to come and have this conversation so you can meet the people that you want to submit to your clinical trials. Creating that relationship where there's mutual respect and learning from each other is so important for advocates, but it's also important for the researchers. Many of them never have conversations with patients. And that is something that this program gives to researchers as well. Sometimes what we as physicians think are the, the endpoints that we need to meet or the schedules that we think are the right things to do may not be right for patients. We engage advocates and say, is this something that, is this a clinical trial you would sign up for? And if not, why not? Because the obligation is not on them, but on us as physicians to do better. We don't have PhDs, okay? We live the life experience, but the life experience really is important, okay, in this game of solving the jigsaw puzzle of cancer. I tell the survivors all the time, a lot of the ideas I have around the research comes from you more so than what's in PubMed or what's in the current scientific body of literature. The Science of Survivor Program has as its primary goal to increase the number of survivors in this country as well as around the world. And we can only do that through knowledge. Changing the face of cancer is what we're all about. You guys have changed the world.